Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Action Anigans. This is Yara Razim. In the last video, we made this recent looking login page that had this cool navbar. Today, we will be improvising the same by adding CAPTCHA to it. This is how our login page will be looking like at the end of the video, better and advanced. And of course, do watch our previous video to get better understandings. Now, let's get started. First things first, let's start typing up this form. So here goes my username, here goes my password, and now let's check out the capture. It's A L A Z R M. Uh, let's uh, start up by filling the wrong capture and submit this. And uh, here we go. Please enter a valid capture. Now the Let's fill up uh, the correct capture. Here we got a tricky one, but still, we got this. And submit, and form is validated successfully. So that's how this form is. Now we will be working on Scratch in specific. The thing that we will be taking along from over here is that this entire section is being divided into two here comes our first section and here is the next one also we need to understand the fact that each uh, column of a particular container is being treated as 12 units so this 12 is being divided into two so here comes our first six unit and the remaining six units are over here now let's go back to our code which were here and i'm sure that you guys recognize this and if you don't please make sure that you watch our previous video so now here our password here is our pass uh, the label for password and we will be extending the same so first we've got one div class of form pro and this form row is now being divided into two form groups yes form groups and here is the first and here comes the second one and as i told you that each form group has been given six units so column medium six to both of them and do this as well I'll be saving this now let me add also a label over here which was enter capture save this let's go back to our login page refresh this and guess what we got enter capture over here now we will be adding inputs to both this column medium six type will be text uh, there will be no name so now i'll be giving it a class of form control over here as well there will be an input with type is equal to text i will remove the name here as well and i will be giving it a class of form control i'll save this and go back to my page and refresh this and we got two sections over here the thing that we can notice is that here this section does not have this gray background and here we can input but that is not the case so i will be adding read only to the first one which over here read only save this go back I refresh this and now we have this gray background and we cannot enter anything over here now last but not the least we'll be adding certain ids over here so here is our first input and to this we'll be adding an id of capped and here's our second id over here we'll be adding an id of uh, text area no text input 
these are certain IDs that I have been that I have named. You can of course name according to your choice. And on this button, I'll be adding this on click. So when this on uh, button will be clicked, a function will be called, and that function is valid cap. These three things are ne uh, new over here. Now we'll be working on JavaScript. Now I'll be adding the syntax for JavaScript in our file. What's conventional is that when you have got HTML, when you got CSS, when you got JavaScript uh, or any other kind of language, uh, you put them in different files. Not uh, here we got our JavaScript over here, we got our HTML over here, even we added our CSS to the same file. But since we do not have too much work to do, so that's why I did this. But you should of course go with making separate files. So in our JavaScript, first we'll be creating a function called as cap and in this we'll be making a variable named as alpha and this alpha will consist of all the alphabets that we want in our capture let's say we want capital a also we want uh, smaller things uh, also we want special characters so we will include this all from over here so this is a long list and I have saved them already in my sticky notes. So I will just copy paste them from over here. And now let's come back to over here and I will paste them. So here we go. Here are the capital letters, here are the small letters and here are the special characters. Now if you take a look at our capture, it consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It consists of 6 variables. So we have to add 6 variables over here first. So let's call the first variable as A. Let's call the second as B. Similarly C. Similarly uh, Uh oh okay so we got six variables over here so this first variable will be taking will be consisting of any random value from over here so to make that possible we will be adding alpha now inside alpha we have to make a function that takes a specific random value from this set and returns to the character a so I'll be making the function as math.floor and inside that math.random and that is to be multiplied with the total number of characters we got over here that is I guess we got 26 capital, 26 small, 10 numeric and 9 special and that makes it 71. So this particular function will take a random value from over here, multiply with it the number of characters it got and then approximate the value and this random value will be stored in this variable A. Similarly, I will be copy pasting or uh, before I copy paste this, I just noticed that we have been writing the spelling of alpha incorrect and this is the correct spelling. So after saving this, I will be copying this function from over here and I will be pasting it in all the values. So we got six different random values for our captcha. Now let's also save it inside a character. Let me call it as final and that will include all the variables now inside this variable final we have got this random values from this particular set so every time we call this function we call this function cap random values will be stored inside the variable final now what we need to do is we need to convey the value of this variable final to over here that is to this specific place and how do we do that we go to down over here 
we'll find the element by id and specify the id and get the value and that value is from the final so the value of this variable final will be conveyed to over here now what we need to do next is we need to make a function that when called uh, gets us the specific random value so that uh, function is called as valid cap remember we named this uh, function over here whatever you name this or the same you have to define so valid cap so first in this valid cap we make a variable string one for this string one is it is basically the value that is being generated from over here so document dot get element by id again and that id is cap and we need to put the exact value so the first a variable over here is the string that is being generated now here we also have another string let's call that as string 2 and this is the string that the user inputs this is the string that we need to compare with again get element by id and here the id is text input i guess let me just cross check this uh, yes this is text input so all uh, text input and again we need a value out of it so we have got string one we got string two so now let's equate them if string one equals string two remember we have also to compare the upper and lower type so we need to equate them correctly so if string one is equal to string two we will alert that the form is validated successfully if the string does not match then we need to alert that please enter valid capture and we will return let's return false and over here let's return true that does not make any difference as such but still let's go with it now if we take a look first at our login page the thing we notice we are missing is this captcha not visible and this statement over here if you take a closer look at this this is just an image not anything else that i have added to make it look better so i'll be adding the same over here so let's go back to our code and here before we sign up for a new account let's add an hr h6 and it has a text of captcha not visible and also let's add the image source uh, the source is let's check the source first uh, it's in the same directory with the name of refresh so refresh.jpg now save this to check if we got things over there as well uh, refresh this uh oh this is too big so let's give it some specific width Let's give it a width of 40 pixels. Refresh this. Yes, perfect. It looks better. Even at this side, if I go zooming in, it doesn't look like an image. So it's good. Now, we need to fire that specific event at this 
hx that is we need to add on click over here as well and this time we need to give it the function cap now if we save it and go back to our code i think things should be good to go so let's go back to our page i think this is the page yes let me just refresh this and now yes we got our capture over here so now let's try validating this this is my username here goes something as password and now let's check out this fpn fpn so submit this and the form is validated successfully if you like the video do hit the like button if you want any specific video do comment and share will be appreciated thank you